Hi guys, my name is Nati. I'll be taking you throughout web development using JavaScript. Please note these videos are for absolute beginners. So if you have knowledge about JavaScript, this might not be as useful to you. So you might need to have basic HTML and CSS skills. So I've attached free resources for you to be able to practice HTML and CSS. It will take you about like six to 10 hours. So you can go in the link description there a lot of useful resources there that you can utilize to learn web development. This video is just an introduction to web development, just to give you a bit of background what web development is and the types and everything. We will discuss further things when we get into the next video. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay guys, first of all, let's explain what web development is. So web development can simply be explained as tasks or processes that is involved when creating, building websites or web applications that will run on the World Wide Web, aka the internet. So the task or the processes that you do or the work that is involved in creating a website or a web application, that is web development. And it can varies from simple static websites uh, to complex web applications. So firstly, if you're if you're dealing with web development, there is front-end development. This refers to client-side development. This is the development of the graphical user interface. This is the development of the visuals that the user will be interacting with in the front end of this application. It's what the user will be able to see and interact with. And then we have Backend development. So you have your web application or you have your website. There is data that is going in back and forth. This data must be stored somewhere or there must be calculation that must be done. This is where backend development comes in. This is the development that deals with the storage of data, the manipulation of data, the communicating of data. That's called backend development. And then we you might have heard of full stack development. So full stack development is, is basically front end and back end combined. So if you fancy front end and back end and you can do them both, we can consider you a full stack. So what we'll be focusing on is web development basics, which will be the front end. As I've said, web development can vary from static, simple websites to complex applications. So what we have here is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. What HTML is, is the skeleton of all web pages. So you use your HTML to be able to structure your web page. In a web page, you find text, you find tables, you can, it can vary from different types of data. That's what you use HTML. HTML is basically gives you the ability to add text, it's basically the structure of a web page. So you go to a website or you, you see a web application, you see text, you see tables, you see videos, you see images, that's HTML. That's why it's considered the skeleton. So after adding those things, those things are static, they are not responsive, they don't look so quite good. It's just a basic table or it's just a basic paragraph. Now we would like to make it look better. That's where CSS comes in. Cascading style sheet is the style sheet language that's used on top of HTML so that you can style your elements that they look much better now. Maybe you have your button there, you would like to shift it to the side a bit, you like it to give a bit of color. That's where CSS comes in. And then you have your static website because your data now it's there and then you have your elements but then they are not responsive. JavaScript comes in, that's what we'll be dealing with here. JavaScript will help you to change your static website into a dynamic website that will have some responsiveness because now you will have your button but then you would like to click on a button and maybe a pop-up shows up or maybe you do some calculation or you store data somewhere. That's how JavaScript helps us to be able to process information or be able to make our websites or web application more responsive. So now we'll just diving into how these things are connected, how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are connected. In order for us to be able to develop application or websites, we'll need an IDE. 
i am using visual studio code you can go ahead and download it i will leave a link in the description so what i will do now is generate a boilerplate an html boilerplate i will do that by putting an exclamation mark then pressing tab you can also do html and then it should show html5 and you can click on it so what you see here is an html document you can see the doc type is of html and then you can see the structure of an html document we have the head where we can see the meta text here the meta defines metadata which is usually uh, used to for page descriptions and character sets as you can see and we can see the title here which will be the title of your web page here we can write login as i will do a demonstration with the login web page and then in the body this is where all your content goes in so this is where the content of your website or your application will be so i will just put some html elements here to show you how this thing will look like so when now we have a div and then we have a form we can see h1 which is headings and then we can see inputs for username passwords and everything these are all html elements these are all the things that you will see on our web page as you can see here we have a button that has signed in and then we have don't have an account and we also have these images as i've explained what you can do with html so this gives the web page a structure for you to be able to have this inputs and be able to take data and then you can have your websites like that there we have our web page we can see the title that i was mentioning here here's the title on top and then this is our body the entire of the screen is our body this is where the contents went in here are the inputs that i was mentioning here's the image you can see the button also and then you can see if you type in here it is not responsive nothing happens when we click here nothing happens like it, it it just refreshes the page nothing actually is happening here so you can see it's even the button does it looks so basic it's not styled it's everything is just shifted to the side it's not well structured so that's where css comes in let's add a bit of css to our html so we can see how we can style this up and to look better the way we add styling to our HTML is we give it a link to the styling or where the CSS file is. So we're going to add this on the head. So the head typically contains of the title and metadata such as links to your styling, links to your icons and page descriptions, others if you have, it's, it's information about the page. So we're going to add the styling here and we're going to add the reference to our styling to the file that contain our styling as you can see here we can see href style.css and then if we go here we can see this is the styling this is what css code looks like so this is the styling that i've added and then now we are expecting our page to look better there we have it guys our web page looks much better now by far not the best styling i think you're gonna be doing much better than me when you have learned this but then here we have it you can see now everything is a bit structured you can see the colors you can see the button now is no longer that basic you can see the title and these inputs have a bit of life now you can see that everything is looking a bit better we've added css and then our page now looks better but then it is not responsive you click on sign in nothing shows up so what i'm gonna do now is add a script tag which will reference our javascript file and we'll add a bit of javascript to make the page a bit responsive the javascript i'm gonna add is not server side it will just to sh it is just to demonstrate on how you can use javascript on how to reference or and how to add a script to your code to html code so the way you want to add a script is you write script it's gonna show up here and then you can see within this script tags you can be able to write any javascript code if you are familiar or you have you know what console.log is that's fine for those who don't know i will explain it a bit later in my upcoming video so I'm just gonna write this here you can see that you can write any JavaScript code within this script tags 
but the ideal way or the real life scenarios will not you need you to write code between the script tags because in a real life situation you'll be dealing with a lot of javascript file and a lot of html files so it will not be ideal for you to be able to write all of these things in one file it will end up confusing and you will need to separate this thing this is called separation of concern so you need your code to be more structured you need your things to be more cleaner you will need your javascript in a different file that's why you can also include src which is in short for source and you can write the name of your javascript which is in my case main.js this is pointing to where the javascript is and by programming standards the best way to do it is to edit before after the body after the body just before the body closes so you don't need to edit above or where it starts so so that you can load your html file first and then you can execute the javascript after if you have your, your script above now your web page will be loading and it will be executing javascript while it's loading which will cause you problems it's better to have it before the body closes since we've added a script in our html file we'll hope that our page now is a bit responsive i'm just gonna type in this and then see what happens when i click the sign in button so i just put my name here and then when i click sign in you can see that pop up there it says hey nati welcome back so you can see this is static but then this nati changes with it takes the value that's inside the use username so we can see that now we have a bit of responsiveness because if we will say just hello here and then we can see that it also says hey hello here so we can see that now we've added javascript this is a bit responsive so that will do it for today's video in the upcoming video we'll be writing our first javascript code so please if you find this video useful you can leave a like and a comment if you have a question you can leave it in the comments also please don't forget to download visual studio code and then we'll be starting with our javascript lesson in the upcoming video thank you for watching cheers